In the book Dune, written by Frank Herbert, there are mythical creatures known as sandworms. Generally shaped like cylinders, sandworms are known to grow to gigantic sizes, as you will soon see. For scale, here is a crowd of people. They will be used for size comparisons later on. This is the top of a small sandworm. According to the book, a specimen this size was killed and taken in for study. The dimensions of this beast are 150 meters long and 25 meters in diameter. Next, the inside of the sandworm's mouth. This is the same worm, except now from the inside. If you look down, you can see a small object that is not part of the sandworm. That is about the size of the average person. Just as a reminder, this is a small sandworm, and many grow larger than this. For our last view of the small worm, we go down to the level of the teeth. Each of these is about 30 centimeters in diameter at the bottom, and about 95 centimeters tall. There are also over 26,000 teeth in this worm alone. In addition to being huge and numerous, the teeth are also incredibly sharp and durable, occasionally being used to make special knives. Now, we go to our large worm. This behemoth is portrayed at the same scale and positioning as the previous worm. This creature is about the same size as the one that the main character of Dune first caught. His cry of astonishment upon first seeing it was, It must be over a league long! The teeth have grown with the worm enlarging to almost 10 meters across at the base and 30 meters tall. These monster teeth come in a monster mouth, one spanning over 800 meters across. Lastly, here is the center of the sandworm's mouth. Without comparison, it looks similar to the previous worm. However, the scale of the teeth begins to truly show the size of this monster. The smaller worm can easily fit the long way across this mouth several times. Most people will never see a sandworm and live to tell the tale. Being taken inside the mouth has a 100% mortality rate, as this explorer quickly discovered.